If you go to my Instagram, you can see a lot of posts that look like this. And last week, I put out a poll on Instagram asking if you'd like to know how it's done. This is how it's done. These are time slices. They're essentially a time lapse, but instead of showing all of the time lapse from start to finish, they show you specific moments. Hey everyone, so a lot of you wanted to know how I do my time slices and a lot of you have asked for tutorials and how to edit and all of that. So I'm going to explain today from start to finish how I do my time slices, how I edit my time slices. A few things that you need first for a time slice. You need to know what time sunset is, you need to be there right before golden hour. So golden hour is in 12 minutes, so I'm here at 5.10, I'm already set up, I'm ready for my shot. That's one thing. Another thing you're gonna need is a tripod for sure. Without a tripod there's no way you're gonna be able to do any time slices. Three, a camera that can shoot in intervals. So every second, every minute, every hour, whatever you have, make sure that you can shoot in intervals. And finally, the thing that you need is obviously editing software so you can edit in post and uh, that's pretty much all you need there's also a bit of math that you have to do but i'll talk about that later on in the tutorial Welcome to my first ever tutorial video about time slices. Let's just jump straight into Lightroom so we can talk about the very important things first. So first thing you want to do is you want to import all of your photos that you took during the time lapse. But you don't want to select all of those photos. So how do you know which photos you want to select? Uh, in a time slice you don't want to take all of the photos so it's not a time lapse. So, how do we do this? This is where the math comes in. There's a bit of math. Bear with me, I know people don't like math, but it's a small bit of calculation. It's not too hard. I started this time lapse around 4.22, 4.30 uh, at golden hour, and I kept shooting uh, until nighttime. So the way I set up my camera was I took a photo uh, every minute using the interval. So setting the interval on the camera itself, uh, I took a photo each minute and I have a total of 75 images. So that is 75 minutes. All right. So now we know that we took 75 photos. So how we, do we know which photos do we want to select? Well, it depends how many slices you want in your image. So let's say you uh, want 15 slices. In my case, I need 15 slices. What you need to do is you do 75 divided by 15 and that is basically 5. That's right. So you do 75 divided by 15, that's 5. So what does this 5 mean? Well, it means here that you want to skip the 1, 2, 3, 4 and you want to select the 5th image. That will be your first 
slice. You do the same thing, you skip one, two, three, four, and you want the fifth one. You keep doing this until you have selected all 15 images that you need for your time slice. All right, so after adding all 15 images or slices, you want to edit every single image. So I already skipped ahead and edited these 15 images. So uh, trying to go through basically just, you know, golden hour, blue hour and nighttime. After that, you want to select all of these 15 images and right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. But there is one thing that you need to do is basically this orientation does not work for Instagram obviously so I'm going to crop these to a basically vertical crop instead of a landscape crop so I'm just gonna hit the X button and after hitting the X button you're gonna have a vertical crop um, I want to keep it as a 16 by 9, sorry, 9 by 16. Uh, I do not want any of the water to be in the time slice. I want to keep the CN tower centered and right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it around here. And yep, there you go. That's our crop. Now you want to do is shift click 15 photos selected you want to sync you want to uncheck everything pretty much check none and the only thing you want to check is the crop and the straightening all right now that you pretty much loaded all of your layers all 15 slices you want to select all of these you want to go to edit auto align layers and just let Photoshop do its thing because sometimes they're not 100% aligned so, uh, so Photoshop does that for you. Wait a few minutes or a few seconds depending how fast your laptop is and boom. Okay, 10 hours later Photoshop aligned all of our images. So as you can see here we do have a bit of uh, blank space. So what I usually do is I go to the crop tool and I recrop again, just in a way to make sure none of the blank spaces show up. Confirm your crop. Wait 10 hours. All right, there you go, it's done. Okay, so. Now the actual fun begins, which is the actual slicing itself. So we have 15 images, so it's going to be 15 slices. Here is what you need to do. First thing you want to do is you want to go here and show your guides. So guides and go to guides and create a new guide layout. So we're working with columns, not rows, because we're going to slice them vertically. We don't want a gutter, so we'll just set that to zero. And we need to have 15 columns. All right. You also want to show your rulers just to make things a bit easier. OK, so this is where the actual slicing and the fun begins. So after creating your 15 columns using your layout, what you want to do is firstly what I do here is I rename these to frame one, frame two, frame three. So after renaming your frames, um, this is where the actual slicing is going to happen. So pay attention because this is the most important part. What you do is you select the rectangular marquee tool, you make a selection, and selecting the layer that you're working with, you hit the mask button. Then what you want to do is you bring your move or your move tool and you remove the first guide, the second guide, go to the next layer, 
rectangular marquee, select this, mask it out. Same thing, get rid of this. Frame 3, the layer you're working with, marquee tool, you select this column, mask it out. And so on and so forth. You need to do this for every single layer. I know it's kind of tedious, but once you're in the flow, it gets pretty easy and pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead and fast forward this part where I'm uh, basically massing out the slices uh, and I'll see you when this first frame is completely done. So I will be back. Now that all your frames are done and complete, what you do is you go to the top, you hit Command Option Shift E, and this creates or merges all of the layers below into one layer. So now if I just turn off all these layers down here, you can see that this is the layer that we're working with, which is your first frame. So this is where the hard part comes in. So if you want to create actual animations, you will have to do this for every single frame, one by one, 15 times in this case, because you have 15 slices. And then you need to put all of these in a video editor, as in Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, whatever you use, set each slice to 0.1, which is one frame and you will see the magic happening so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fast forward a lot until i'm done with all of these frames and then, then we'll jump into final cut or any video editor so i can show you what i mean so just a side note in order for you to do the next frame of this time slice what you do is you want to uh, hide this because you're going to use it later on you're gonna unmask or view all of your previous layers that you masked out you want to delete every single mask so delete the layer mask delete layer mask and you what you want to do is you want to move frame one all the way to the end, to the bottom. So now we have frame two on top. We go again. I'm going to do this one more time just so you have an idea. Just go to search guide layout, new guide layout, 15 columns. We go to the first frame. We're going to move the first one because we do not need it. Rectangular marquee tool, select the first column, mask it out, go to the second frame, get rid of the layer of the guide, use the rectangular marquee, and you mask it out. I will see you in a few seconds because this is going to take me some time. I'm going to fast forward until we jump into the video editor. I'll be back. Okay, so once you're done with all your 15 slices and 15 frames, you want to right click, export, You want to export the highest quality you can. Now make sure that all the images are 1920, uh, sorry, are 1080 by 1920. Once all your files have been exported, you can just select all those frames and throw them into your video editor and I'll show you in a second 
exactly what that would look like. Okay, so now we're in Final Cut Pro. Created a new project called Time Slice. It is a, a vertical project for Instagram. So call it whatever you want. And then you need to go to your pictures that you just exported or the frames or the time slice or whatever you want to call it. You select all your layers and you drop them into the timeline. Change duration to so one. And view, zoom to fit. And when you hit play, you will see that you have a very nice time slice animation. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a pretty tedious thing. It's not too easy to do, but with practice, I am 100% sure that you guys will do great. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Bye.